Hello, differential equation students. Um, we're going to use method of undetermined coefficients to solve this non-homogeneous uh, ODE. Um, if you're not familiar with the method of undetermined coefficients, I suggest that you um, go to uh, uh, an introductory video. Um, this one is a little bit advanced. Um, so this would be um, you know, a few steps down, because we're going to have uh, linearly uh, dependent solutions uh, for um, this one. So um, um, once again, um, just a little warning. <laughs> this is uh, after you've already been introduced to the method. OK, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, determine a sol solution to the homogeneous equation, no problem. Um, we uh, set up the characteristic equation. We get um, the roots are plus or minus i. That implies we get um, fundamental solutions, which are um, complex exponentials. And we convert that to cosines and sines. So really, our fundamental solutions will be um, cosine and sine. But we notice that um, the uh, if we try to guess a particular solution that in, that is just sine x, um, it'll be linearly dependent with our complementary solution. Uh, so we have to guess a form of the particular solution that is um, linearly independent. So we multiply by these x's here. Um, so this will be the form of our particular solution. OK, I'm just going to rewrite that and set that in the side over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the uh, ODE vertically. So I'll have y double prime plus uh, y. So I'll have this left-hand side. And, um, and then I'll when I take the two derivatives, um, I end up with this expression. Just I'll work that through and get those two derivatives. And you'll see you get something that looks like this. And then um, I'll uh, add these uh, vertically. And so I have y double prime plus y is sine x, that's y double prime plus y is sine x. And then um, I'm going to add these um, two expressions up vertically and uh, get some cancellation. The uh, cosine cancels out with the cosine there, and the sine term cancels out with the sine term there, and that just leaves me with minus 2a sine x and minus 2b cosine x. Now I just match up coefficients. Um, the coefficient of the sine is 1, and there's no cosine term, so the b will be 0. So I have minus 2a equals 1. And that leaves me with a equaling minus 1 half and b equaling 0. And uh, so I get a particular solution. If a is minus 1 half and b is 0, then um, my particular solution is um, minus 1 half x cosine x. Because a is minus 1 half, the b is 0. And my complementary solution is up here. So my general solution is the sum of these two, the c1 cosine plus c2 sine, and uh, uh, minus 1 half x cosine. All right, good luck.